And I want to hear you on your goals, like in your career. Like, do you have something you envision for the future? Like something you want to achieve or, or produce or do for, for the next couple of years? Yeah, well, I, I'm, you know, uh, getting up there a little bit. I got a little gray hair. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> But uh, no, I I, I want to produce more. I want to produce mm -hmm. puppet kind of things and non puppet things as well. I think I could, you know, I've I've done it for you know close to 40 years now of working in film and television. So I know I kind of know the ins and outs of of production, and yeah. you know puppets puppet productions especially for film and television. You know, uh, we even on the Muppet movie the the most current ones it, i mean bill beretta was our puppet captain uh -huh. and i just watched bill have to explain things to like the the dp and the and the director and the producers like no this is how we do it this is how you, you your idea of what you're trying to do it may work but it's going to take twice as long listen to what i'm saying because we've done this for so many years you know and And Jim Henson always used to say, it's like, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, you know? So there, there is a, there is a lot of, of uh, information and techniques to do that, you know, to produce puppet shows. And I think that's something I, I'm looking forward to doing more so. And I like writing, I like writing scripts and, and creating funny characters and, and doing that. I'm, so I'm going to continue to do that. That's so cool. That's great to to see that you want to 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 get into other production, to make project going on and and happening. It's a creative aspect of it, and for sure, as you have experience, you need to bring it to to the world. That's great. I, I, wanna, I basically want to tell people what to do. <laughs> That's good. I think you you are at the right place. You have the right knowledge to to accomplish that and. And that's good to hear. That's you, you, we need we need leaders in this field, and we need people who who know how to do it to to as you said raise the bar and and brings kind of a new voice to this art form for sure. Right. And you know it's one of the oldest art forms. <laughs> that's Puppetry, true. I mean, it's like ancient. So, <laughs> and it's yeah, it's going to be around because I think it's it people love it. So. Yes, and and where do you see puppetry in 10 years? That's kind of a a, a good question also. What do you yeah. see for the the feel? Yeah. Well, I do think that there's uh there is something to be said for the the combination of CG enhancement to puppets. So, uh for example, on Cats and Dogs, we had a beautiful cat built by Dave Barkley and performed by Bruce Lanoil, buddy of mine. And uh, they, um, the the cat was just so emotive, and it was an uh, animatronic, right? Yeah. And it was a uh, capable of delivering the funny and delivering the emotional facial stuff, and so the CG department didn't have much to do mm. to enhance it, but the little enhancements that they did made it even better. So I think there's going to be a nice hybrid of of CG enhancement with regular traditional animatronics and regular puppets. Yeah. Uh, maybe in 10 years we'll, we'll have that. Who knows? Yeah. More hybrid stuff. I think we are in a hybrid kind of also performance live and real time. And you have a lot of hybrid stuff we're coming. Yeah. Yes, and I, I want to know, I didn't like in the pre-interview, we didn't talk about if you have a puppet uh, somehow around you. I, I, I'm kind of surprising you. Do you have a an object you want to show us for for oh, the an object? An, yeah. an inanimate object? Yeah, something who can answer the question, the definition. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we have Sharaf who's saying, oh, "Oh my God." Hey. Hi, Caroline. Hi, it's me, Timmy the Tooth. Yeah, it's an honor to have like Timmy the Tooth in person in the Puppet Podcast. Oh, it's great to be here. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you. That's so cool to to see you in real time. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> have you ever seen a tooth with freckles? 
<laughs> no, actually. But yeah. I, I know my mother invests in my food and she say it's the best inv- investment she have done in her life. <laughs> well, you have a beautiful smile. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Timmy. Brush, brush, come, come look. Come look at her smile. <laughs> oh, no, he's outside. Yeah. Brush, brush, is my, he's my buddy. Yes, and and how you 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 are right now with with this uh, funny situation that we are in as a tooth, like in you 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 keep smiling to the world. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I keep smiling, but I'm wearing a mask most of the time, so people can't see. Huh. Yeah, you know, usually usually my eyes my eyes usually work, but I I ran out of batteries, so oh. they're stuck right now. Usually but, they go left, right, eyebrows, blinks. Yeah. All of my it. batteries are low. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, we, we, we will just observe that you are so alive. Ever your mechanism is, is not. Yeah, just, just imagine my mechanics working. <laughs> I'm 30 years old. I'm, I've been holding up for a lot and long time. Yeah, how you feel with all of this work? You you don't want to take a break. You 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 keep going or you you still in shape? Oh yeah, I'm still in shape. But my latest hobby is day drinking now. <laughs> no, it's not. Wow. Oh look, brush brush. Oh, I got to go. I got to go see brush brush. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>